Good afternoon. Would you please tell us where you come from and what brought you here to Swiss Medica? I come from England and I came here because I'd done a lot of research into stem cell treatment. Uh, and through the research uh, that led me to uh, Swiss Medica as being uh, probably the most professional uh, organisations or clinics that, that I came across. And I have to say that has certainly come across during the treatment whilst I've been here as well. So mm -hmm. it's very, very professional. Um. So, uh, what what were you looking um, like? Would I want you to which which diagnosis have you got that you were looking for uh, okay. stem cells to help you out? I was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver, uh, which is obviously a big a big illness. Uh, and in the UK, the only real <coughs> uh, answer to that is transplant. So, uh, what? How long ago were you diagnosed and what kind of uh, medical treatment are you on right now? Okay, I was originally diagnosed in 2015, uh, but that transpired to be incorrect. But the real diagnosis was 2023. As far as treatment is concerned in the UK, uh, nothing apart from some medication. So no other treatment. I spent a month in hospital uh, following an internal blood issue, uh, loss of blood, uh, which they couldn't find the source of. Uh, and after a while, they just packed me up and sent me home. Um, how did you come across the idea of trying stem cells? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Somebody once had mentioned, uh, just as a throwaway, a second opinion. And some time ago, I'd seen advertised uh, stem cells for MS. And I thought, well, I wonder if they do a similar thing for, for my condition. Uh, and that was how it's that, that simple, really. Uh, and, uh, and here we are today, basically. You know? So, um, what does your what kind of treatments does your program consist of, and for how many days did you have to leave your home? Uh, I left my home for seven days. Uh, it's a, lo a lot of things get lost in translation, obviously between Serbian and, and English. So, but various stem cells, various infusions, uh, a bit of physiotherapy all done by machinery, uh, but uh, uh, placenta, uh, I know of one, and various other, other infusions. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else. There's quite, quite, quite a few, so, so virtually every day I've been here, well yes, every day I've had an infusion of at least one, probably two or three. Infusions. Uh, did you have those in exosomes yes. uh, spray? Are you are you bringing home a little bit? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got the the nasal. Well, I'll, I'll be given the nasal ones to take with me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as far as the medical part is concerned, uh, what what are your thoughts about the nurses, doctors, the treatment itself? Uh, the nurses, the doctors, as I mentioned earlier, all the staff. Uh, have been exceedingly professional. Uh, to compare it in in terms of England and our NHS, it's a bit like looking at our corner chip shop compared to a Michelin star restaurant. The gap is massive, it really is. And uh, if you had any fear before coming to Serbia, uh, could you please give an advice to the others how to overcome this fear? And you've had a chance to see a little bit of Belgrade, so what do you think? Okay, well, I, I had no fear anyway because I, I've, I've never, I've never con concerned or concerned myself with what a lot of people refer to as alternative medicine. 
<coughs> pardon me. So that's never never been off-putting to me. So all I would say is that anybody considering it is they look at it seriously. Belgrade, I didn't get too long to spend there uh, yesterday. Uh, it was very hot, uh, but it's getting hotter as well. Uh, and I'd, I'd like to spend more time, uh, but far more relaxed uh, and vacation as opposed to sort of trying to force it in between various bits and pieces, you know. But the food is good. Food is good. All right. Um, and the people are very friendly as well. Oh, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are your expectations for the, for the treatment? What kind of results are you aiming for? Well, uh, I'm hoping that a lot of the issues that I suffer with, which is lack of strength, uh, coldness, uh, you can hear my voice is very weak, uh, and ver various other internal issues are, are assisted with it. I appreciate that nobody can cure outright cirrhosis, it's one of those things that once the liver has become that, that scarred, uh, it, can't, it can't be. Although it can be unscarred to a degree. Uh, so I'm just hoping for, for that to, that process to, to happen. So you, you just would be happy to, to put it in a pause, right? The process, to put it in a pause. Put it in a pause? No. The process. Uh, the I never thought that the cirrhosis would, would affect you this much, I mean like a lack of strength. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So in, in which other way does it affect your life? Uh, okay, it's uh, internal bleeding, uh, lack of memory, uh, fogginess of the brain, uh, lack of strength. You feel cold at around 14 degrees. And freezing cold, no energy, no ability to sleep properly, uh, sleep during the day but not at night time, lack of appetite. Uh, yeah, the, the, the liver really is, is a massive uh, a massive part of the functionality of the internal organisms of the body really. And it's linked to everything, it's linked to, to your heart, to your kidneys, to your spleen, uh, it regulates the blood as well as, as the kidneys as well. So there's an awful lot of work that goes that the, the liver produces, uh, and it's the most hard-working organ uh, in the body. So. Uh, have you mentioned to your uh, doctor that you're planning to perform a stem cell therapy? And if you have, uh, did you get any feedback from him? The doctor in the UK? No, no. Uh, Are you planning to mention? No, no. I, I, I tend to, I would tend to, to keep everything separate from what the NHS does and what I would do. So, uh, so no, no. I have no intentions. I might tell my hairdresser, but I'm certainly not going to tell my doctor no. But if they see maybe some changes in the blood results, uh, then then they may ask the question. Uh, they may assume it's their in, input, which of course it won't be. Uh, then I will answer. You know, if, if they ask the, ask the question, then I'll give them the answer. But I won't actually be offering uh, my opinion on it until until, until hopefully there's some good news. Uh, is there anything else I forgot to ask you in general about the stuff, the food, accommodation, transportation? No, uh, I think uh, the the external accommodation is great, far better than the clinic. I think, uh, in hindsight, as I say, the staff are phenomenal, uh, so very friendly, from the you know, those on the desk to the the nurses, doctors. Uh, uh, and the girls that work in the, the kitchen, you know. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's, as I say, from a professional point of view, never mind uh, if it's medical, just as a professional organisation, 
it seems to run like clockwork. Thank you so much, Ben.